guys what's up so finally have to replace this battery here um, look at the date on this thing it's a Optima red top and I got it on uh, 2009 January 2009 and god time flies because I mean it feels like I just replaced this thing a couple years ago but I can't believe it's already been almost like eight years well it's gonna be 2017 in about a week so wow um, but one of the issues with this battery is that it's just a uh, well, right now, just the um, the voltage is fine, but it just doesn't have amperage, I guess, or whatever, you know, capacity to turn my engine over really good anymore, so. Plus, I'm running a lot more electronics, fuel injection, fuel uh, electric fuel pump, and uh, so I went to Walmart, and I got this uh, Group uh, 29 deep cycle uh, starting slash, uh, well, it's a starting slash deep cycle battery, and over at Walmart, and it was 86 bucks. Plus a $12 core charge, and the challenge is to see if I can get this thing to fit in this compartment. I'm gonna have to probably make a couple different modifications, and uh, mainly down to here on uh, this lips. I know the width and the height should be pretty close, but I'm gonna have to probably take the lip off on this side. But let me show you, I run a lot of stuff here, and I'm actually just adding more stuff too, so. Um, I mean, I run fuel injection, obviously, CB radio. Stereo, I have a big amp under the thing, you know, I have a five uh, channel amp, and then I have that tablet I run sometimes to uh, program my fuel injection, but uh, or I also have GPS when I'm going in different stuff, but yeah, so I'm also going to be planning to add a different ham radio on here too as well, so CB ham, you know, maybe software defined radio on that lap, you know, just a lot of different things I do, and uh, I also have a, um, uh, so when I go camping, I have a, like a massive inverter here. And it's pretty cool. I have some outlets in the back too. I don't know if you can you can't see them back there, but there's a this cord actually goes to a couple outlets back there with an on and off switch. That's what this is for, the uh, remote switch. But uh, yeah, so I do actually have quite a few things, and I use this when I'm uh, pumping up tents and stuff, and air mattresses, and you know stuff at the campsite because you know a lot of the places we go to they don't have power, so uh, I use this there. So. Cool, so uh, yeah, hopefully that I can get this battery in. My, my goal is, I mean, you know, you've seen like my other videos that uh, I'm kind of into this battery uh, repair and rejuvenation. And I'm gonna try to restore this optimum battery and maybe an upcoming video and see if I can get it to you know, improve or whatever. But another reason why I went with this uh, lead acid battery versus the AGM battery is that I guess I like the idea of being able to inspect the cells. Whereas with the optimum, I can't do that, it's totally sealed up so I can't look at the cells and I can't you know, I guess you never have to add water to this because it's maintenance free but yeah you know, I guess I like to be able to look at the cells and actually test individual cells so I can tell if I'm having issues or not with the with the battery but also this is about half the price as a of a Optima yellow top but all right so I'm gonna get this other one pulled out and see if I can get this thing fit in there and uh, this is a like I said it's a pretty big battery it's a group 29 DC. You know, I guess my, my existing uh, red top in there is probably about 700 uh, cold cranking amps, and this is, um, I guess they call this marine cranking amps, but it has more cranking amps. And it also has 122 amp hours at one amp. So 845 and 122. So. Yeah, obviously a lot better. I mean, I guess the more lead you can get under your hood, the better. So, and that's what I'm hoping for here is to get a much bigger, bigger battery in there. So, all right, let me get to, get, get to it here. So, I'll take them out and I'll weigh them. That's why I have the health meter thing there. Yeah, I am going to actually sacrifice uh, some some weight here to uh, put this bigger battery in there. But, all right, cool. Weigh these batteries. So, first put this optimum up there. Accurate the scale is, but it's not. I mean, obviously not digital, but. This weighs about uh, about 34 pounds, it looks like. And I got this crazy fly that's trying to attack me. All right. All right, so, yeah, this is pretty gnarly. So this, the Optima weighed 34, and this thing weighs about 60 pounds. So that's about a 26 pound difference. So, yeah, I mean, that might affect the ride quality a little bit on the left hand uh, or on the passenger side, you know, with the shocks, but I guess we'll see. Things I'm gonna have to do also is because it's gonna be a super tight fit with this bigger battery. Um, I'm gonna first put it in there and, and see if it fits in there. Even to clear this up here, yeah, you know, the terminal post down here, and 
doesn't really matter because that's going to be the negative side, so even if it touches, it's not going to be an issue. But this lip right here, like if I don't pound this lip down right here, it's going to cut into the battery and eventually put a hole in the battery and leak out the uh, acid. So, got to find a way to pound that down so it's not going to cut into the uh, plastic there. So, all right. Oh man, this is kind of a pretty big battery. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, this is pretty huge. It definitely, I can't really get it. The, the terminal post is not going to go fit under here. I mean, even if I pound it down and remove that rubber mat, and it's still not going to give me enough clearance to go underneath it. So that's off limits. And I, could, I guess I could keep it here and take the lip down here, but I don't know. I guess I'll look at Optima, the yellow top, and see if uh, see that. I mean, I guess I kind of want to do something pretty rapidly, but. Uh, I don't know. All right, decisions, decisions. Okay, let me think about it here. I'm bummed, but so I went to the store and got a yellow top. Uh, I don't know what this, all this stuff's for. Extra stuff. I, I'm not gonna need to use it, but uh, look at the specs here. So I, what I realized, I was looking at them in, in the store and. Uh, I mean, I know they probably make different different things here, and or different cold cooking amps, but the red top in the store that looked exactly like that had 720 cold cranking amps, and this has 750. Um, the reserve capacity is uh, 120 minutes, 55 amp hours. But so this is a deep cycle, and, and uh, sort of like the same as the other one, the uh, Evermax. I'm gonna grab the Evermax and bring it back down here. Here is the Evermax back down. I guess I can put this cap on and I guess I'll take it back. Back to Walmart. Since I'll be using this uh, yellow top. But yeah, I'm surprised the yellow top is actually... I mean, this obviously has more coal cranking amps. Or I guess they're called marine cranking amps. I'm not sure what the difference is. 845 and... Uh, yeah, they're both made by Johnson Controls. I don't know if you can see that. Johnson Controls. And Johnson Controls. Well, I guess I'm going to go with the yellow top, but yeah, I guess I didn't really want to modify the uh, this battery tray that much, and it was kind of a massive battery, but clean this up, get the yellow top in there, and uh, get it going. Cool. So, right. in there, and uh, I actually do use this like little negative terminal in the front, and what I use it for is... I have one wire, the, the negative wire, the main negative wire, on here goes straight to the engine block, right down there, and then I have another negative terminal that goes to the, uh, it's clamped right to the exhaust, but down here, to the metal body down here, you can see that, but yeah, it's clamped there, so hopefully that would give me better ground, but, alright, so I think that's it, so this will be yellow top, kind of a bummer, you know, I wanted the, uh, I mean the Walmart battery was uh, 86 bucks, but, uh, yeah, it would have been a lot of different, I mean, it's pretty huge and it wasn't going to fit under here, like the way I wanted it to, and I, and I didn't want it to actually be all the way over here, where I couldn't work over here, so, bummer. So this was a uh, 219 over at O'Reilly, so definitely not a cheap battery, but, alright, cool. Down here, but yeah, I guess in one of my next videos I'm going to, um, try to use my desulfator and this rejuvenator on the charger and see if I can, um, Get the uh, maybe get this thing fixed or repaired. If not, then I'm gonna turn in for the core. But yeah, that's my battery bank. All right, cool. So yeah, I got some pretty cool tools to uh, test batteries. So see if I can fix this thing. But if not, no big deal. All right, thanks.